Deuteronomy, meaning second law or repetition of the law, serves as a poignant reminder of the Israelites' journey through the vast and unforgiving desert. It is a powerful exhortation to remain faithful to their covenant with God, a covenant that was forged through trials and tribulations. Chapter 9 finds the Israelites on the cusp of the Promised Land, poised to inherit the blessings promised to their ancestors. This chapter is a sobering reflection on their past transgressions and a reminder of their dependence on God's grace. It's a call to humility, reminding them that their successes are due to God's unwavering faithfulness. They had witnessed miracles, experienced divine provision, yet repeatedly faltered in their faith. Deuteronomy 9 revisits these failures to teach and ensure future generations strive for a deeper, more steadfast faith. As they stand on the brink of a new chapter, the Israelites are encouraged to build altars and offer sacrifices as acts of genuine repentance and devotion. Moses delivers these words with urgency and compassion, knowing the future depends on their adherence to these divine instructions. One of the most potent examples of the Israelites' failings is their creation of the golden calf. This event is not just a historical footnote, but a profound lesson in the dangers of losing faith and turning to false idols. This act of idolatry, vividly recounted in Exodus, casts a long shadow over Deuteronomy 9. The golden calf represents more than just a physical object, it symbolizes the ease with which people can be led astray when they lose sight of their spiritual foundations. Moses reminds the people of their rebellion how quickly they turned away from the God who had delivered them from slavery. He recounts the moment when, despite witnessing countless miracles, the Israelites chose to worship a man-made image. This serves as a stark warning against spiritual amnesia. Forgetting the source of their deliverance led them to make choices that had severe consequences, both spiritually and communally. It reminds them that human nature is prone to wonder that even in the face of undeniable miracles, doubt and temptation can take root. The golden calf incident is a timeless reminder of the fragility of human faith and the constant need for vigilance. Remembering their past unfaithfulness is not meant to condemn, but to cultivate humility. By reflecting on their mistakes, the Israelites are encouraged to remain humble and reliant on God's guidance. It reminds them that they are recipients of unearned grace, that their position of blessing is a result of God's mercy, not their own merit. This understanding fosters a sense of gratitude and a deeper commitment to their faith, knowing that their blessings are not earned but given out of divine love and compassion. In the face of the Israelites' sin, Moses stands as a powerful intercessor. He pleads with God on their behalf, reminding him of his promises and appealing to his steadfast love. This act of selfless intercession reveals Moses' deep love for his people and his unwavering faith in God's mercy. Moses' actions highlight a crucial aspect of God's character, his willingness to forgive. Despite their repeated failings, God listens to Moses' plea, demonstrating that his anger while righteous is never his final word. This interplay between divine justice and mercy forms a central theme in Deuteronomy 9. God is both deeply offended by sin and fiercely compassionate towards his people. He disciplines those he loves, but remains committed to their redemption. Deuteronomy 9 is not just about past failures and forgiveness, it's a call of vigilance. It urges us to guard our hearts and minds against complacency. The Israelites, on the verge of the Promised Land, are reminded that their inheritance is not secure. The blessings they are about to receive depend on their continued obedience. God's grace, while freely given, is not to be taken for granted. This warning against complacency resonates deeply. Spiritual growth is an ongoing journey, not a destination. We must be vigilant, always striving to deepen our relationship with the Divine. Deuteronomy 9 serves as a timeless reminder to remain vigilant, to cultivate humility and gratitude. By doing so, we honor the grace bestowed upon us. Together, as a community of faith, we support one another in this journey. Through eternal vigilance, we honor the divine and secure our place in the promised land. Deuteronomy 9 also offers a glimpse into the weight of leadership. Moses, chosen by God to lead his people, carries the burden of their failures. He intercedes on their behalf, pleads for their forgiveness, and bears the brunt of their rebellion. 
His leadership is not one of power and privilege, but of service and sacrifice. He embodies the qualities of a true shepherd, leading with compassion, humility, and unwavering commitment to his flock. Moses' example serves as a model for all who hold positions of leadership. It reminds us that true leadership is not about self-promotion, but about serving others, even when it means bearing their burdens and advocating for their well-being. Are you ready for the next chapter? Just click here to go straight to it.